Well everyone, iOS 16.1 has officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 8, my very cracked iPhone 8. Now this update is a very interesting update because it came at a very interesting size. So first of all, the size is going to vary if you're coming from a beta or not. As you can see, I think I came from the beta, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. So that is probably something to keep in mind in your area. Now, it gives you a big release log. I'll talk about this in a second. But this is a really, really big update if you're currently on iOS 16. Now, the first thing being is we now have iCloud Shared Photo Library. Now, within our Photos application, we now have the ability of basically going through and setting up these shared albums, which I think we may have been able to do that before, I don't remember. But now we have the ability, essentially, of adding more people. We can go and add more photos here, and everybody can see them. We can also add people to these specific things, too. Now, this may have been already a feature before, but it looks like it's officially out, and more people can do it. And I think that's a really, really cool thing, for sure. Now, another thing is actually, and this is a big one, live activities for third-party applications. So iOS 16 brought live activities, which is essentially a notification, a way of, you know, companies and I guess Apple showing you notifications without bombarding you with like 50,000 notifications. If you're watching a football game, it'll have a constant prompt up here as long as you have that notification up and it'll go ahead and automatically update that specific notification. That is a really awesome thing to actually see. So if you're watching a football game, it'll automatically update the score, a basketball game, so on and so so forth and that is a really cool thing that we basically have the ability of doing that now now this isn't supportive for the iphone 8 but reachability is now supportive for the dynamic island so if you're planning on buying an iphone 14 pro you'll basically have that reachability option that comes up so that is another really awesome thing we have now finally we also have a new battery option which this thing is actually very crazy so it wasn't showing up on my iphone 11 but it was showing up on my iphone 10r so it's very weird so we'll see if it shows up here so under battery health and charging we should now have this new clean energy charging option now like i said it was not coming up on my iphone 11 but it was coming up on my iphone 10r and now it's coming up on my iphone 8 so i don't know what's going on there but we basically have the ability as you can see right here to basically reduce our carbon footprint by enabling this option so I think that's really cool. I th I'm very curious to see how this will affect not only battery health, but battery charging time as well. But I guess we're going to get, well, we're gonna have to test that and kind of see what happens there. So there are a lot more updates and a lot more improvements within 16.1 as well, but that kind of covers up this at a high level. Now the question is, should you install iOS 16.1? And as I've mentioned before for quite a bit of time, I think going up to iOS 16.1 if you're on iOS 16 already is a very smart choice. You're going to be at a very good situation if you go ahead and install that version of software in this specific situation. But like I mentioned, if you're on iOS 15 right now, it may make a little bit more sense to just maintain and stay on iOS 15. You know, it's probably going to be a little bit more stable for the time being. But if not, then going up to iOS 16 also makes a ton of sense for me. And you can go and go up to 16.1. But do keep in mind, this is the oldest supportive phone. You may be having an issue there, but that kind of covers it up in this specific situation. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.